subscribe ecofan for more educational videos thank you hello and welcome to our video on population interactions in this video we'll be discussing the different types of population interactions that occur in the natural world Population interactions refer to the ways in which different species interact with one another in a shared ecosystem. Population interactions are important because they help us understand how different species coexist in the same environment and how they adapt to changing conditions. There are a variety of different population interactions that occur in nature, and in this video, we'll be discussing some of the most important ones. Competition The first type of population interaction we'll be discussing is competition. Competition occurs when two or more species compete for the same resources, such as food, water, or living space. This can lead to a number of different outcomes, such as one species outcompeting the other and driving it to extinction, or the two species coexisting by partitioning resources. For example, imagine two species of birds living in the same forest, both of which feed on the same type of insect. If there are enough insects to go around, the two species may coexist peacefully. However, if there are too few insects to support both populations, they may begin to compete with each other for food. This could lead to one species becoming dominant and driving the other to find a new food source or even extinction. Predation Another important population interaction is predation. Predation occurs when one species, the predator, feeds on another species, the prey. Predators have evolved a variety of different adaptations that allow them to capture and kill their prey, such as sharp teeth, claws, or venom. Predation can have a number of different effects on both the predator and prey populations. For example, if the predator population grows too large, it may begin to deplete the prey population, which can lead to a decline in the predator population as well. On the other hand, if the prey population grows too large, it can support a larger predator population, which can help keep the prey population in check. Mutualism Mutualism is a type of population interaction in which both species benefit from the interaction. This can take many different forms, such as the pollination of flowers by bees, or the symbiotic relationship between a cleaner fish and a larger fish. In the case of pollination, bees benefit from the nectar and pollen provided by the flower, while the flower benefits from the pollination, which allows it to reproduce. In the case of the cleaner fish and larger fish, the cleaner fish benefits by feeding on the parasites and dead skin of the larger fish, while the larger fish benefits by having a cleaner and healthier body. Commensalism Commensalism is a type of population interaction in which one species benefits from the interaction, while the other species is neither helped nor harmed. This can occur in a variety of different situations, such as when a bird builds its nest in a tree, or when a barnacle attaches itself to a whale. In the case of the bird and tree, the bird benefits by having a place to build its nest, while the tree is neither helped nor harmed. In the case of the barnacle and whale, the barnacle benefits by having a stable surface to attach itself to, while the whale is neither helped nor harmed. 
Parasitism Parasitism is a type of population interaction in which one species, the parasite, benefits from the interaction, while the other species, the host, is harmed. Parasites can take many different forms, such as fleas, ticks, and tapeworms. Parasitism can have a number of different effects on the host population, depending on the severity of the infestation. Herbivory Herbivory is a type of population interaction in which one species, the herbivore, feeds on plant material, the primary producers in an ecosystem. Herbivores can take many different forms, such as deer, cows, and insects. Herbivory can have a number of different effects on both the herbivore and plant populations. For example, if the herbivore population grows too large, it may begin to overgraze, which can lead to a decline in plant population and ultimately affect the entire ecosystem. However, herbivores can also help maintain the health and diversity of plant populations by selectively feeding on certain plants and allowing others to thrive. One example of herbivory is the relationship between elephants and acacia trees. Elephants feed on the leaves and branches of acacia trees, but the trees have developed a defense mechanism by producing thorns and a chemical defense system. The thorns discourage elephants from feeding on the tree, and the chemical defense system sends a signal to other acacia trees in the area to start producing their own chemical defenses. Proto-cooperation Proto-cooperation is a type of population interaction in which two or more species work together to achieve a common goal, but neither species requires the other to survive. This type of interaction is sometimes also referred to as mutualism or symbiosis, but it differs from those types of interactions in that the species involved can survive on their own. One example of proto-cooperation is the relationship between honeybees and flowering plants. Honeybees collect nectar from the flowers of plants to make honey, and in the process, they transfer pollen from one flower to another, helping to pollinate the plant. The plants benefit from the pollination, which allows them to reproduce, while the bees benefit from the nectar, which they use to make honey. In conclusion, population interactions are crucial to understanding how different species interact in a shared ecosystem. Each of these interactions plays a unique role in shaping the ecology of an ecosystem, and understanding them can help us better understand the natural world and the impact that human activities can have on it. Thank you for watching the video.